the heart of the film, I believe, it's Michael Jordan's mom. That is the heart of the film. That is why Michael Jordan himself said no. Ben Affleck, okay, do him film. Viola Davis has to play my mom. That's crazy. So for me, there will be crazy pushback for that. They'll be like, no, the hell? All right, man. Just go back from watching Ear Air, the story about the shoe that changed everything. So let me let me level with you. At first, I didn't want to watch the film because I was like, "Why am I? Why are we having the first film based off of one of the greatest sports athletes of all time, and it's starring Matt Damon and Ben Affleck?" I'm like, "The hell! I don't know where the hell is freaking Michael Jordan." But then when I just saw more interviews with Ben Affleck explaining what the story was, I was like, okay, I'm not sure whether anybody can actually justifiably play Jordan based on just how iconic of a star he is. But that film is eventually going to come. It's like how people thought you could never play Muhammad Ali. Someone's going to be able to play Jordan, but it's they, I don't think the pieces have been found yet. But I thought this is still a, this is still a great story because it is the story of a shoe that changed everything in terms of marketing in terms of athletes in terms of how athletes are marketed in terms of how athletes profits off of marketing and so forth it's it's it changed everything like because that the jordan apparel is everywhere i mean look at freaking psg psg's jazz are modeled off of air, air jordan so like, okay seems like a pretty good story you know and look for me ben affleck is a garbage actor He's a good director. I mean, if you watch The Town, The Town is a really good film. I, I recommend that if you've not seen The Town. So, okay, look, let's go watch it. So, general thoughts. It's a good film. It is a good film. I mean, really good performances. But I felt that the film was trying to go somewhere, but it didn't really... It didn't really... It sort of got into second... Third gear, but didn't really go into fourth or fifth gear. Or just sort of stop on the third gear. Flexing with fourth gear, but just sort of got into third gear. Because I, I just thought it needed to go into another extra dimension. Dramatically, emotionally. That could have really made it a, a very memorable film and a memorable story. Because I think, look, everybody knows the, the story. This is based off of a true story. And I think everyone just knows the broad strokes of how this whole Nike deal worked with Jordan. But when you're adapting something, you've got to take liberties. Because remember, you're making... Because if you want to watch the real story, let's just, just watch a freaking biography. But because this is a film, you have to dramatize things. And that's why you've got to take liberties. Because if you're just doing like for like, then what's the point? The whole artistic nature of film is you have to adapt and say it in your own words. So look, I mean, it's it's a very, I mean, like, I think, you know, my demon, who's really the guy that really plays the character, that really engineers this whole thing. I think he plays Sonny, who engineers this whole idea of signing Michael Jordan. It's interesting just to see his conflicts with Michael Jordan's agents, with those within the Nike company who think that it's a crazy idea to model an entire show and use an entire company's budget just on one player who hasn't yet played in the NBA. So seeing that back and forth was interesting. And look, just how it's directed very well. I think look, Ben Affleck is a really good director. So it's very slick. He knows how to hit the comedic beats and he just knows how to just keep the audience engage and it has a very nice rapid movement of how it moves from scene to scene to scene. Um so you so look for me look here's the thing the, it is a good film it is good performances it is very nicely well paced you are never never bored and there are no scenes that really drag you know like maybe there's one but I think most of the time it's like okay this is it's pretty cool maybe there's one scene I was like okay this seems a bit weird like one scene with the agents that I just thought sort of was a bit too much but overall, it was good. But for me, I think the heart of the film, I believe, it's Michael Jordan's mom. That is the heart of the film. That is why Michael Jordan himself said no. Ben Affleck, okay, do him film. Viola Davis has to play my mom. That is the only request I have that Viola Davis has to play my mom, one of the greatest actors on the planet right now. And for me, I felt, and Viola Davis, again, she's great, she's just amazing. I felt she was underused. Because she plays, because when, because I don't want to give too much away, but the role that she plays is so pivotal, it's so important that that's your film. Because when you see, this, there is a scene where, oh my gosh, this is, 
this is what this, this is what this entire film is about. Because again, I'm not giving a spoiler away because you know it's it's it's, it's based off of a revenue share. And the revenue share is why Michael Jordan is one of the wealthiest athletes in the world. And that is what's changed the game of everything. So that's part where Michael Jordan's mom says, we will only sign for you guys if you give us revenue share. That's the film. And I felt that this now comes to the screenwriter. Where for the screenwriter, you have to, that is the golden nugget of your film. And you've got to extrapolate that. And I just felt there wasn't enough pushback on that request. And that's, re that's, moments in the film just wasn't expanded enough within the script and within the writing because I was like, no, 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 no. This, this is where, this is what this whole film is about. This whole film is about that revenue share and you have to really make that much more dramatic. So you've got to be like, okay, well, like we can't do this, but can we do this? And then now you have guys pushing for it, guys pushing back against it and you're, and you're going against the wall because Adidas and Converse are now waiting for you guys. So yeah, I just felt that it's, because again, it's all about choices. And that's why, you know, when you're a director and you're a writer, it's come because really the, the, the director is the head honcho. And the direct the the screenwriter, he's just giving you a very basic blueprint. The director can rewrite, add, subtract, or do anything he, he, he wants. The the screenwriter has a zero say as to what goes into the film, unless you're a writer director like a Tarantino or a Nolan. But if you're just a script writer, you're you just you're a work for hire. So the, the director says, No, I rewrite this. Odd more, you 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 do it. So I felt this comes to Ben Affleck in like, bro, okay, this moment here, we need more here. So he needed to go to the screenwriter. You know, we need to have more of this because, see, even after watching, it, I was like, hey, cool, really cool film, but it didn't really it didn't really hit me. It didn't really fully affect me. And I felt that you've got an actor like Viola Davis, who you know what she can do. We've all seen Fences. We've all seen Doubt. Um, we've all seen all of the films that, that she's been in. We've freaking in, in the woman game, which was amazing. You know what she can do. And you know that this is Michael Jordan's mom. And I think the whole theme of it, and I think they even say it in the film, the mom is the key. If you can get the mom on board, you're Gucci. <laughs> you know, if you can get the mom on board, you are fully Gucci. So more needed to be made of that, in my opinion, you know. But I think, look, beyond that, look, would I recommend it? Yeah. I would recommend it. It's a good, fun film. It's a, it's a good, fun film. I mean, I would if I was to rate this, I'd give this, I would rank this as... I'd rank this as like a tier two. Yeah, tier two. Like, like, this is a good standard tier two movie. It's a good standard tier two movie. I don't think I can go higher than tier two. I'd, yeah, I'd give it a tier two. I'd, I'd give it a, a, a tier two. So, like, look, it's, it's enjoyable. It's fun. But... It doesn't get that kind of upper tier two, tier one level because I just felt like if you're that's that's why you now need to be really creative, really dramatic, and add a little bit, a little bit more meat to the bone and really just just try just get a little bit more to it, you know. But watching it though, you just say to yourself that man, that revenue share was great. Another another one as well, maybe another little slight critique is I just felt you know, my demon's character, I felt he maybe too quickly was, he, he too quickly just jumped into the hole. Oh my gosh, this, this is the guy, this is the guy, this is the guy. I like wanted to sign Michael Jordan. Maybe that could have been, you know, drawn us a bit more before he comes to realization that so let's bet everything on this freaking dude from high school. Um, Chris Tucker was, 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 was cool. I mean, no, everyone was cool. Chris Tucker was cool. Marlon Wayans, so I think is a bloody clown most of the time. He was actually pretty good. He has like one scene, but he was actually really good in his, in his one scene. So, Everyone acting wise did well. Jason Bateman was really good. I I really liked it. You know, I think he's always good, but I think Jason Bateman was really good in this. I really liked, you know, what he, he did in this. He was really good. Um so yeah, man. Um but yeah, it just shows you that man, that revenue share is I was, yeah, like Vala, because you know Vala Davis is a real husband. I think it's Julius Irving actually plays husband in the film, you know. And he was really good for the small part he had like, just get more of those guys. So but yeah, man, that revenue share. So Michael Jordan said, no, I want to get a share of everything from that freaking shoe. And that is why I felt they needed to do more with that because to do that, to ask for that, if, if, I'm, if I'm a board member of Nike, I'm like, hell no. But at the same time, you're like, man, if we miss out on this and it now goes to Adidas, how much are we going to lose out? Because again, it's, it's a risk. It's all good to say, like, well, look at what MJ turned out to. But go back to 1984. 
would you bet everything on this kid who's never been in the NBA and the Lambs that have a part in the revenue share, knowing that this is a business? That's crazy. So for me, there will be crazy pushback for that. They'll be like, no, what the hell? That's why there will be a lot of deliberation for such a huge thing, which changed everything for artists and athletes, man. But guys, that's my thing, man. I'm giving this a tier two. I hope if you've seen it, what do you think, man? One love.